Hello everyone. Uh, this is part six of my Civilization VI playthrough. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, game loading here. Load game. Duh. Anyway. Uh, this is uh, part six. And in part five, I got up to starting the spaceport in my capital. Uh, I'm actually fairly well positioned now to uh, win the space race. Uh, that is to launch the Mars, all three Mars uh, projects. Uh, but it's now it's down to pretty much a slog to the finish line. And this is, of course, one of the big problems with the Civilization series, in that if you're not playing basically a pure conquest style. Uh, you can end up getting bogged down in the uh, uh, later game, just going through the motions and playing it out. But sometimes it comes down where you actually have to work hard in the late game to actually catch up or keep ahead of your uh, opponents. Uh, I've had a few games where I almost lost... Uh, the space race, uh, where I probably won it by two turns. All because I paid attention to these uh, great people here. Um, and it's, you know, it's, I kind of wish I, I would have uh, refused the previous great scientist, but because uh, this is a strong one, uh, the Abdus Salam. Uh, great scientist with uh, Eureka for all tech from the uh, information era. That's really, really powerful uh, because it cuts your uh, research time required by half. So 20 points there, 22 for me. I may come close to getting that one, but I'm actually more uh, concerned about getting the 1500 uh, production toward uh, uh, you know space projects and so on uh, sure we'll accept the embassy uh, so what I'm doing is I'm accumulating gold right now uh, for the patronage to obtain uh, you know what I'm gonna take that one uh, for the patronage to uh, recruit uh, either an engineer or a scientist that's good production for uh... okay we'll take the friends this time you may remember from last part I hit escape on a friendship offer from uh, Poland uh, this time I got it now interesting enough nobody's unhappy at this point which is seriously unusual uh, I don't know why that's the case but it is Anyway, I'm going to uh, park my uh, ship on the harbor there. Uh, okay, so now uh, I'm going to do some improvements around uh, here. Uh, I don't think you can improve necessarily the stuff that's right beside uh, wonders. It's, uh, well, there's at least one wonder. Oh, it's the uh, Cliffs of Dover. Uh, that you can't improve the land tiles beside the cliffs, because I guess the land tiles are part of the wonder, so... It's annoying. You should be able to build farms and stuff on it. After all, it uh, shows as uh, farmable land, so... You know, there's, there's some glitches with the wonders, but you know, there were issues with the natural wonders in Civilization V as well. Uh, like Lake Victoria in uh, Civilization V, behaving like a mountain and <laughs> being impassable, and you could build uh, observatories and stuff on it. Uh, ideology. So, uh, so suffrage is coming up. So uh, that will get me uh, another government. Now, uh, what do I want here? I really need to get. Uh, a tech that allows me to upgrade my melee units. And that's replaceable parts. Okay. So I, I need economics. That's kind of cool. 
Uh, it's kind of what I wanted anyway. Uh, anyway, moving along. Uh, Aqueduct just about finished in Newcastle. Uh, oh, I have a coal here that I could go and improve as well. Uh, now this is interesting. It's uh, friends with uh, four out of seven opponents. At this late stage of the game, that's kind of impressive. Um, actually, I think it'd be worth getting out another builder uh, to improve the coal, uh, farm this tile, and farm this one. Uh, yeah, I think that would be good. Uh, right, there we go. Oh, I want to take a look here. Uh, culture victory. Uh, let's see how that's going. Okay, so uh, I've got 180 tourism. Cleopatra's only thir got 32 uh, to my 181. I'm okay for now. Uh, I only need 153 at this point, so... Uh, now, one of the space race projects actually seriously helps on the uh, culture victory as well, so uh, that can be uh, definitely worth uh, worth pursuing. Oh, I should uh, bring up a builder here as well. Uh, somebody else, Poland, got the Colosseum. I'm not going to get it. Oh, well, uh, that's uh, not the end of the world, so instead I'm going to build here the uh, neighborhood to deal with the uh, uh, with the lack of uh, uh, housing and I'll just put it where I was going to put the Coliseum might as well uh, and Manchester I've built a research lab that's going to seriously help on the science I I'm also going to pick up a neighborhood. Um, now, where am I going to put it? Well, that is a question. I'm going to put it right there. Uh, that gives me six housing for one uh, neighborhood, so that's uh, probably a smart move. Uh, right. This is a good wonder to go for. Um, I'm not sure if I want to, though. Uh, actually, I'm going for uh, science uh, again. Um, okay, I'm going to uh, improve the uh, crabs there. Uh, rather than put a sawmill or whatever that is, lumber mill on the uh, uh, tundra forest there. Uh, okay. Uh, moving right along here. Uh, Gilgamesh. The Great Lighthouse only came out in 1820. So that's kind of amusing. Uh, okay, here. Got to keep those traders operational. This is the big way I, I have my, uh, you know, the spaceport coming up in 20 turns instead of 40 or 50, is all the trade routes coming out of London are all providing production to London, uh, as well as food, which uh, allows the city to grow faster. And uh, that is uh, an important uh, thing there. Now, I said I wanted a builder here. I want a, I'm going to bring up a, whoops, a builder. Oh, I can't because I got that stupid uh, um, inquisitor there. But anyway, I'm going to uh, build a uh, builder there. Uh, and that, uh, that way I can uh, fill in some stuff here. Uh, six turns, I'll be able to uh, uh, to upgrade a whole bunch of my army, and uh, that will probably uh, prevent any uh, significant declarations of war 
uh, afterward uh, is I have quite a few units. Um, right. Uh, oh, right. I was going to fill stuff in there. Uh, nah. That would have been a fair trade. It was a straight across one for one. Uh, now, while that would have been a fair trade, it was also pointless. Uh, if you hold on a moment, I'll try and remember to edit this out in post. I need to check something. In case I forget to edit that out in post, uh, a car alarm went off uh, real close by, so I needed to make sure it wasn't mine. Near as I can tell, it wasn't. You know, I don't think I will edit that out. It adds flavor, I think. I'm not sure if the microphone picked up the car alarm, actually. Uh, oh, this is a spy. Which I was putting in my uh, city center. Uh, right, I gotta keep those traders moving. Um, right. Uh, yeah, and then I guess I'll go over, over here. Uh, moving on. I say moving on way too much here. Um. Uh, Okay, so replaceable parts in a few turns here. That's going to be uh, pretty solid. Uh, you might be wondering why uh, I don't. I'm, I'm not playing at a uh, higher uh, level, but. Uh, Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it's really, uh, it's uh, an enjoyment thing, right? I don't want to have to work really hard when I play a game. That's just annoying. Uh, so I tend uh, to play on an easier difficulty level, but it's also uh, useful from an instructive uh, standpoint, uh, showing... Uh, th that the game is uh, actually pretty easily winnable if you're reasonably careful about it. Yeah, apparently somebody's having issues with their car alarm. Oh, I should have looked where that uh, amenities thing was an issue. 
Oh, it's Plymouth. Okay. Uh, okay, now I have a choice here. I can go for one of these uh, wonders. Uh, Broadway's a good one. Um, uh, Big Ben is good. Um, uh, I wonder if Big Ben is, is worth taking a run at here. It would double my treasury. Uh, or maybe the Cristo Redentor, or however the blazes you say that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for that. Uh, let's see. Now here, I don't really have anything else to build in uh, uh, Liverpool. So, you know, it might be okay to uh, tie it up for a long time building a, uh, a uh, wonder. And I suspect the microphone is picking up that car alarm. And it's getting really annoying. Okay, so I need, I'm going to build the production buildings in Birmingham. Uh, just to keep things moving there. Uh, you know, I'm going to try and pick up Brussels there. Uh, the suzerain there. Um, no particular reason. It just seemed somehow appropriate. Uh, I'm going to actually keep an eye on it on here so I've taken the lead on uh, on the uh, great engineer there but I wouldn't be surprised to have Egypt purchase that one um, and I don't have the uh, gold or faith to grab that one and I've come up to second place on the scientist um, right. Okay. Moving along. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, oh! Th there haven't been a lot of wars in this game, not even between the AIs. So that suggests that the AIs themselves are going for peaceful uh, uh, victories, which is unusual. Uh, it sounds like it's some kids playing with that car. Um, okay. Uh, I need to take a look at the tech tree here. Uh, I think electricity is a good one to go for at this point. But I really want to get satellites uh, first. Um, because that's the, the uh, second uh, space project that you have to build before you can go onto the Mars ones. Even though you can research the text for the Mars ones before, uh, you can actually do that one. Uh, I'm going to grab... Well, I'm going to take a look down here. I can't build any wonders here. Uh, but industrial zone... Okay, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for industrial zone there. Because uh, that will get me some great engineer points. And, uh, uh, you know, I kind of want that great engineer. Okay, so I'm going to put the farm on the wheat. And... Uh, now, uh, I'll uh, move along here. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to park the... Uh, oh, right, I need to upgrade my uh, army. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I have the gold. Uh, it uh, does 
limit my patronage uh, options, but uh, having an up-to-date, uh, nope, that one doesn't upgrade yet. Having an up-to-date army uh, substantially reduces the uh, likelihood of any sort of uh, invasion. Oh, right, I've got that uh, great engineer that I've left hanging about there too. Uh, so I can do something with that guy. Uh, I can knock a few turns off of that one. Uh, now that I remember I have him. Uh, right. And so three turns for suffrage. So I'll be able to change government uh, soon. Uh, he'll take us straight across trade, so that's nice. If you haven't pissed off the AI, it'll usually take us straight across trade on uh, luxuries. Um, right, so I'll park that guy. Oh, right, it's a spy. That's the spy on uh, the holy site. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll take the friendship there. Looks like this is a basically peaceful game, and that's uh, that's unusual. Uh, I'm going to see if he'll take a straight-across trade for silver. And he does. So that'll uh, buy me some time on amenities. So when this this finishes, Sheffield will be uh, a little bit happier. A few more turns on the spaceport. That uh, that's usually not an issue getting the spaceport out. Uh, I'm not even bothering to check the uh, science victories uh, stat, uh, state at this point because there's really nothing I can do about it till at least I get the uh, spaceport out. Now, what to build here? I could go for a campus for more science, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, instead, I could build an entertainment complex, but I don't actually... I'm not hurting for amenities, so I don't really need to do that. Uh, neighborhood would seem like a logical thing just because of the uh, population, so I'm going to do that. Oh, and I can put, put it right there. And that will get me uh, six um, uh, housing. You know, that, that's actually one of the things that's different with Civilization VI, you know, the previous ones. Uh, you need housing to uh, put your citizens in. Um, I don't see that being a fair deal. Uh, so for every, I think it is two citizens, you need one housing. Or is it one citizen? No, it's two citizens for one amenity. It's one citizen for one housing. Uh, and you get some housing from your uh, palace. You get some housing from uh, being on a river or on the coast, which is a little bit less. Otherwise, you need to get housing from buildings and, and social policies and so on. And I've got a... Uh, a uh, I've got democracy now, so I'll switch governments. And then, when it uh, finally gets around to this... Um, so I'm going to move this policy up there. And... I'll move the diplomatic one in there. Now... Um, I'm not going to look at at these these policies this one can be useful um, but what I'm gonna go over here this new deal one uh, it costs you gold but it's plus four housing plus two amenities and that is worth the cost of the gold cost um, now uh, 
Now, meritocracy can be nice. Uh, now, these ones over here, uh, let's see, writer, admiral, merchant, general, scientist, or engineer. Uh, either one of these can be could be really good at this point. I'm going for great scientist points here. And uh, then I'm going to take a look in here. Uh, so I need 3,600 gold to recruit the engineer. And now I'm up to 23 uh, scientist points. So uh, that's uh, probably uh, useful. Uh, now... I need to look at this stuff here. Uh, at this point, uh, I'm usually just pick off the cheapest one and work my way up the uh, social policy tree. Uh, conservation's a good one to go for, though, because uh, that gets you uh, uh, naturalists, which can make national parks. Uh, if you're going cultural, you definitely want that one. Professional sports is also good. That gets the stadium. Um, now, uh, capitalism gives you... Uh, uh, what does that give you? Uh, yeah, not so much. Uh, anyway, I'm going to actually do the work up through the uh, cheapest ones. That'll get me stacks of uh, policies quickly. Um, now, uh, I've created a monument. I'll go for the granary. Um, so it takes a while to get a uh, city uh, up to good production stats. Uh, but once it gets there, it moves up pretty quickly. Anyway... Right, you got to actually end the turn to move on to the next turn, uh, you know, funny enough. Uh, right, uh, so advanced flights uh, coming up in a few turns. Uh, the AI isn't particularly good with aircraft, uh, at least to the point where, uh, where I'll, they'll be at um, when, uh, when we get a long way on here. Opera and ballet is good for uh, culture. Now, new government type, I don't want to change. Unfortunately, they got a bug with the government type no notifications. You actually have to open the government screen before you can move on. Uh, it's annoying, but it, does, it doesn't prevent you from, uh, from playing, really. Uh, there's a few of these little niggles that they haven't corrected, uh, but they have been working on some of the bigger niggles, like the way religious units can block you moving around the ma your own territory. Uh, if you're not at war w with uh, the owner of the unit, you can't kick them out, and they took up a tile and you couldn't actually move your units around. The upcoming update apparently corrects that uh, it, with some changes to the mechanics um, I'm going to do the uh, builder there. I've got some more stuff I can improve, like the stone here. Now I'm going to take a look in here. 2740, I can recruit that engineer. I'm going to. Now, we take a look. Now the, the engineer that's there is uh, less problematic. Um, the scientists here, um, yeah, I could, it wouldn't be a bad one to get, but I can live without it. Uh, the, okay, again, see, this would be a fair deal, but it's also pointless. Might give the AI some touchy feelies, but other than that, it's completely pointless, so. 
I don't see the any reason to make that trade. Um, space race has uh, been boosted. Okay. Uh, now which one to go for? Um, I'm going to go for conservation at this point. Uh, I'm not actually likely going to do anything with it. Oh, spaceport's complete. This is good. Uh, now, I could buy the, I could put the entertainment complex or theater square uh, or an encampment or any of those, or I could launch the Earth satellite. I'm going for the Earth satellite. Now, let's take a look at the science progress. Nobody else has started building the Earth satellite. Uh, so the Americans that have rocketry haven't built a spaceport. Uh, Nubia has rocketry, hasn't finished a spaceport. Cleopatra, same. Uh, the Russians aren't even in the game yet. Neither is Sumeria or Persia or Poland. So uh, unless I get derailed here, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to win uh, so as I said at the start, this is likely going to be a bit of a slog. Now, uh, I'm going to build a commercial hub here, actually. I'm going to plop it down right there. Yeah, uh, You know, i got to get my gold per turn back up because I took that one policy that really eroded my, uh, my gold. Um, so I'm going to grab Buenos Aires back. Um, so you can see the Americans have a bunch of anti-tanks and swordsmen. So, you know, they might have the same issue I had, no niter. Um, anyway, I'm going to park this guy. Uh, there's no point using the, uh, uh space race hurrier, uh, at this point because... I have to do go through all the research to get up to the other techs anyway. So there's no point hurrying the space race projects at this point, as tempting as it might be. Okay, so we got some uh, barbarians here. Uh, so first I'll take pot shot with the city. And then I'll take a pot shot with the ship. Uh, and this is why I parked the uh, battleship there. And I have one more trade route I can uh, open up. So I will uh, do so uh, when I can afford a trader. Uh, so, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll build the uh, factory there as well. So I'll put up a monument there. That... Again, culture, that's how your territory expands. Um, right. So this is uh, coming up on turn 300. Uh, this is actually a pretty good run. I don't usually do quite this quickly into the late into the space race. Um, now here, again, uh, commercial hub. You know, just for giggles, um, you know, I'm just going to stick it over there. That plus three is uh, useful. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to uh, uh, put quarries on the stone. Uh, just park the battleship again. Uh, wonder where that... Oh! Came from there. I should uh, send this guy over there. Um, yeah. I can clear that with my uh, infantry. And then I can just leave him parked there. Matter of fact, if I, can, if I park this guy over here and this guy over here, no more barbarians will ever spawn on this little island here. Um, right, so I'm going to send that guy over there, this guy over here, and now 
it's all within visibility, so I won't have any issues. Okay, water mill, that again gets production up to its maximum there. Um, right, okay. Uh, so I'm not doing too bad on the uh, uh, gold front. I'm not losing money, and that's good. Uh, when these uh, commercial hubs come come online and I start putting the markets and uh, uh, banks and stuff in there, uh, that will substantially uh, help. Okay, claim great person, a merchant. Um, okay, sure, why not? Uh, now, okay, yeah, I can uh, repeat that one. Uh, I'll just plunk that guy down do the quarry this one can park and uh, this guy two more turn the next turn he'll get here and next turn I'll be able to attack um, I don't see a deal working there Okay, choose Civic, Scorched Earth. I'm just uh, marking off time basically there. Well, I'm going to grab this back. Uh, okay, definitely got to keep those uh, traders uh, working. Uh, okay. So about nine turns for both of those uh, commercial hubs to come up. Uh, seven turns, was it? Seven turns on the uh, satellite, and I'll be able to immediately start the moon landing. Uh, okay, so here we go. That one was the city center spy. Uh, I can uh, do the... Uh, uh, thing there okay so this is uh, that's an ironclad okay so I don't have to worry about ranged so I'll attack there you know what I'll bring the battleship around uh, just to uh, deal with that barbarian once for all the barbarians actually get stronger in civilization 6 a little bit faster than they do in civilization 5 they still got stronger in 5 Okay, Poland's going to war with Nubia. Okay, I got the Redentor thing. Um, now, what to build here? Well, you know what? The Stock Exchange seems like a good option. That will uh, improve the uh, gold flow. Um, now what? Uh, here, again, same thing. Uh, now, what to uh, actually do here? Do I put the farm here, or do I go... I'm going to go that way. And here, I can take another shot there. I'm going to uh, go after that uh, ironclad, actually. Uh, okay, so this is past turn 300 now. Uh, I'm going to play this, this part out until I launch the uh, satellite, I think. Uh, how's this doing? Uh, so, uh, Cleopatra has started the, the uh, uh, satellite. Um, so, Egypt is going to be the uh, competition here. Okay, so I'll uh, take a whack there. And I'll take a whack there. That clears the camp. That's good. Uh, what have I got here? Okay. Uh, nuclear program looks like the uh, cheapest one, so I'll just pick that one. That's not the best strategy, but it does work uh, for this particular situation. So that's why I'm doing it. So I'm just going to try and uh, 
I'm just getting the uh, envoys out there because each envoy is gold. So uh, because because of that one policy. Uh, so what, I got four more turns here on the uh, the satellite. Um, so yeah, I think I'll uh, break the part there. Uh, and the part after that may just turn out to be an extra long one, depending how fast the uh, space race is going. Okay, so I'll put a farm there. Uh, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to let that guy heal, and then it'll decide where to put him. And park this guy over here. Right. Uh, I'm going to end up parking this guy right here, I think, and that'll give me visibility to these tiles, I think. Um, no. Now, let's see. Uh, production where? Okay. Well, lighthouse, greenery there. Uh, the spy needs to go somewhere. This was the holy site one. I'll take the uh, promotion on the ship. Okay, hey, things are uh, moving along here. Okay, I can park the ship. Let's take a look here. Uh, yeah, it's a long way off on the scientist, so uh, I'll just uh, leave well enough alone there. Okay, next turn gets the... Uh, satellite that will reveal the map as you can see here very little uh, is revealed uh, now if you were playing uh, conquest or religious you would have to be doing the um, you would absolutely have to be doing the exploring uh, but for a peaceful victory you can generally dispense with it so here we go the satellite launches The animation is actually pretty nice for this bit. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll uh, close that out. Uh, oh, I guess I can, I can probably afford the trader now. Uh, okay, now uh, I need to get these techs. So I'm going to just uh, queue them up. Because it looks like I don't have to worry too much about other things here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to build the stock exchange in London first. Uh, hey, market there. Uh, right, I thought I could probably I can afford a trader so I'll do that and uh, no I don't think that's particularly good uh, you might be tempted if you're having amenities issues to uh, trade your great works to uh, an opponent generally a bad idea because that's just giving them free tourism points and culture uh, and robbing yourself of the same Persia is uh, declaring war on city-states, apparently. Uh, okay, so we got a stock exchange there. I could go for an entertainment complex, but I'm not really hurting for amenities. Uh, but I think a dockyard uh, will be good, so I'm going to do that. Um, at the very least, that's gold, so 
Okay, I'll repeat the trade route there. I'll repeat the trade route there. And I don't have any of my own cities to send to. I'll actually send it there. Um, just out of curiosity what's doing here. I uh, got an admiral going to pop up real soon now. Uh, generally okay. So I'll uh, uh, do a couple more turns here, I think. I'm up to 66 gold per turn again, so it's that makes a big difference when you start getting those uh, commercial hubs out, uh, you know, in your stock exchanges and so on. Uh, you should easily be having, uh, be, be easily be able to get uh, 100 or 200 gold per turn uh, late in the game if you're playing it all halfway competently. Uh, okay, so I can grab a bank there. And here I'll grab the market. And now we've got a policy slot. Uh, right uh had the scientist ones there so i'll just double down on that whoops uh it takes a while for it to recalculate everything when you uh, select a uh, policy card uh, especially if you have any number of cities you know as the uh it has to run through your trade routes, the cities, all of that business. Oh, look, it's friendship again. Yeah, this is a particularly peaceful game. I had that initial early uh, declaration of war against me, but otherwise it's been completely peaceful. And this is actually unusual. Okay, envoys. Um... Right. So I'll just grab that. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll complete the stock exchange there. Then I'll call this a part. Uh, I'm hoping I can uh, run out the clock in the next part, uh, depending how fast the research goes. Uh, because uh, it'd be really annoying to... Uh, end up with uh, you know three turns to a win but fortunately I'll be able to know how long before the win uh, right uh, okay so that's a stock exchange there so I'm gonna do the moon landing there uh, that's gonna be 17 turns Wow uh, so I'll do oh right that's because I haven't done uh, let me go back in here. I need to go for electricity first. Yes. Then uh, I can uh, work my way up these. Uh, Electricity gets the uh, power plant, and you really do need the power plants to get your production maximized. Uh, right. Uh, I'm going to put a shipyard there now. And that's it for uh, this turn. That's turn 310. Uh, I think there's a good chance, depending how long things take next time around, that I could get the victory next part, or I may end up just extending the part. But I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on how the production falls and everything like that. Anyway, right before I end, I'll show you that you can see I've completed the uh, uh, satellite. Um, and I've researched satellites. Uh, Cleopatra has also researched satellites and robotics. So I am actually behind here on the science and uh, that is, uh, so, so Cleopatra could be giving me a run for my money. Uh, but then again, maybe not. 
uh, I may have better production going on in, in my capital here where I'm building my space uh, projects so it's, uh, it's hard to say uh, anyway uh, let's see right so I'm gonna call it apart here so I'm gonna save the game um, and uh, call that apart and I'll see everyone back for the next part which will be what part seven I think anyway uh, that's all for this time if you've watched this far thanks for watching